Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Welcome back to another scary video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at another scary story. Now this story is called The Appointment. And The Appointment is a spooky story about a teenage boy who has a frightening encounter with death. It is based on an ancient fable called The Appointment in Samara. One version was retold by W. Somerset Mom, and another version appeared in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's jump right over to the story. The Appointment There was a 16-year-old boy who got a summer job working on his grandfather's farm. One morning, his grandfather sent him into town on an errand to buy some provisions. The boy drove the pickup truck into town and parked outside the market. As he was walking along the street, he was jolted by somebody in the crowd. When he turned around, he was shocked to see it was the Grim Reaper. Death. As he stood there in the marketplace, death beckoned to him. The terrified boy jumped back and ran back to the pickup truck and drove back to the farm as fast as he could. When he got there, white-faced and trembling, he told his grandfather what had happened. Let me take the truck, he begged. I'll go to the city and hide. Death will never be able to find me there. It's the only way to avoid my fate. His grandfather told him he could have the truck, and the boy floored the accelerator and tore off at a high speed. After he left, the grandfather went into town looking for death. Eventually, he found the Grim Reaper, standing in the crowded marketplace. The grandfather walked right up to death and asked, Why did you frighten my grandson when you saw him this morning? He's just a boy, only 16 years of age. He's too young to die. I'm sorry about that, said death. I didn't mean to beckon to him. I was just startled. You see, I was very surprised to see him here in the marketplace. I have an appointment with him this afternoon in the city. Holy sassafras! Oh my god, what a poor guy. Poor guy. I mean, that's how death works, though. I mean, you, I guess you see the Grim Reaper. That means you're doomed to die anyway. In fact, I have an angel statue here. It's not the Grim Reaper, but she's kind of like a Grim Reaper. I think they call her... Uh, I can't remember. It's it's some, like, angel. It's a black angel. Um, and she has this, like, sand timer. And she just, like, whenever you see her, apparently it's like your time is coming to an end. And she's waiting for you to die. Um, I can't remember what they call her, but it's kind of like the Grim Reaper. And I feel like no matter what, if you see the Grim Reaper, no matter what, you're gonna die. I guess in this boy's case, he saw the Grim Reaper. That's his sign that his time is coming to an end. He's doomed to die. And so he thinks he can run away from death. Well, I guess it doesn't work like that. Like you can't really, once you've seen the Reaper, you can't run away from him. Because while you're running away from him, thinking, I'm going to get away from him, I'm going to escape death, he could probably be hit by a car and die in a car accident on the way to the city. He could get stabbed by some crazy lunatic, you know, in the city. So, I don't know. I mean, it's. I, I hope I never see the Grim Reaper. But if I did, I, I don't really know what I would do, how I would attempt to avoid death. Um, I, I feel like even if you were to wrap yourself in freaking bubble wrap and hide lock your bedroom door there still could be something that happens like your whole house could cave down or your house could have an explosion or 
you could simply just have a heart attack. So I, I feel like if you were to see the Grim Reaper, there's probably no escaping your death. Guys, let me know in the comment section for question of the day. If you saw the Grim Reaper, what would you do? If you were sure that it was him, what would you do in an attempt to avoid your death? Let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Peace out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.